Skinner related to operant conditioning? B. F. Skinner, 1904-1990, was an American psychologist who extensively studied trial and error learning in animals, later known as operant conditioning. A standard setup for his research involved the following, an animal is placed in a cage. Known as a Skinner box, that has a bar or pedal that yields a food reward when pressed. Once the animal has practiced the behavior, it will continue to press the bar repeatedly. Having learned to associate this activity with food. By releasing food only when the animal completes some task. The observer can train the subject to perform complex behaviors on demand. These operant conditioning techniques have been used to teach behaviors such as training pigeons to play table tennis with their beaks. Why do birds flock? The old adage about safety in numbers certainly holds true for flocking birds and other social groups. Flocks, herds, schools, and others provide a refuge for the young and an anti-predator advantage for all. The simultaneous movements of a large number of prey are apt to confuse predators and decrease the likelihood that they will capture any one individual. Besides humans, which vertebrates are the most intelligent? According to the behavioral biologist Edward O. Wilson, 1929, the ten most intelligent animals are the following, 1. Chimpanzee 2. Species 2. Gorilla, 3. Orangutan, 4. Baboon, 7 species, including drill and mandrill. 5. Gibbon, 7 species, 6. Monkey, many species, especially macaques, the pothas. And the celebs black ape, 7. Smaller toothed whale, several species, especially killer whale. 8. Dolphin, many of the approximately 80 species, 9. Elephant, 2 species, 10. Pig. Why do puffer fishes puff? Puffer fishes are any of a number of species found in warm seas that use a special adaptation of the gullet to inflate their bodies to nearly twice the normal size. Puffer fishes, blowfishes, and their like do this in response to a perceived threat. The increased size and unpalatable looking spines make the potential prey look quite unappetizing to predators. Why do animals play? Many animals, mammals and some birds, particularly have been observed at play during different stages of development. 
Although play would seem to be random, ethologists have described three patterns, one, social. For establishing relationships to other animals, two, exercise, for development of muscles, three, exploration of an object. All of these occur during the wrestling, chasing, and tumbling activities of the young of many species. Some juvenile play, such as lion cubs capturing mice, may be practiced for adult activities such as hunting. How do animals mark their territory? Animals use pheromones to mark their territory. A pheromone is a type of airborne chemical. This can be accomplished by leaving bits of fur and dander on. A visual object or by scent marking with small amounts of urine. Can animals recognize different languages? Scientists have compared language discrimination in human newborns and cottontop tamarind monkeys. Each group was presented with 20 sentences in Japanese and 20 sentences in Dutch. Infant reactions were gauged by their interest in sucking on a pacifier. When infants first heard sentences in Dutch, they sucked rapidly on their pacifiers. But after a while they grew bored with the Dutch sentences, and the rate of sucking slowed. When someone started speaking in Japanese, they showed increased interest by increasing their rate of sucking. Language discrimination was studied in tamarind monkeys by changes. In the facial orientation toward or away from the loudspeaker. Similar to the infant reactions. The monkeys looked at a loudspeaker broadcasting Dutch sentences and looked away when bored. When someone started speaking Japanese sentences, they looked back at the loudspeaker. Results indicate shared sensitivities between monkeys and humans in the ability to discriminate between languages. Why do birds fly in formation? Some birds, like geese and cranes, often fly in V-formation because of the phenomenon of wingtip vortices. The lead bird in the V-formation breaks up the wall of air that the flock flies into. The swirling air then helps push along the birds behind. However, being the lead bird is hard work, and the leader may then drop back to allow. Another bird to take on the work of the lead bird. The V formation also gives geese the ability to watch each other and communicate, via honking, about likely landing spots. Why do fishes travel in schools? About 80% of the approximately 20,000 fish species travel in schools. Fishes travel in schools for both protection and for efficiency. Safety in numbers, in a school, is a form of predator avoidance. 
because trying to catch one fish in a large, moving school can be a difficult for a predator. Secondly, fishes that travel in schools have less drag, friction, and therefore use less energy for swimming. Also, when fishes spawn, a school ensures that some eggs will evade predators and live to form another school. What is a fixed action pattern? A fixed action pattern, FAP, is an innate behavior pattern that is genetic and thus independent of individual learning. It consists of a series of stereotypic behaviors that are dependent on an external signal. Sign stimulus, that causes the behavior. A well-documented FAP is the response of the male three-spined stickleback fish to aggressive stimuli. When a male stickleback is presented with a fish model displaying a red belly characteristic of males, it will display a series of standard threat and aggressive attack behaviors. What is the role of the queen bee? A honeybee society is made up of a single queen, a few male drones, and up to 80,000 female workers. The queen is the only female in the hive capable of reproduction and she can lay as many as 1,000 eggs in a single day. While the queen's job is solely to lay eggs, the workers' jobs change over time. Young workers serve as nurses to the larvae that develop from the eggs. Older workers serve first as hive builders and then as foragers. Do animal studies predict human behavior? George Romains, 1848-1894 Was one of the first scientists to investigate the comparative psychology of intelligence. He believed that by studying animal behavior, one could gain insights into human behavior. However, his theory was based on inferences rather than direct observations of comparable behavior. How can animal thought processes be studied? Determining how an animal thinks will involve scanning the brain of the animal while performing a cognitive task. Data would then be compared with humans. Although human functional MRI experiments are becoming common, such experiments on other animals are still quite rare. Why do termites march around a ring made of ink? Termite soldiers and workers are blind and so use pheromones to navigate. Two chemical compounds have already been identified as termite pheromones. It seems likely that the chemical formulation of certain inks 
contains compounds that mimic these naturally produced signals. Why do termites march around a ring made of ink? Termite soldiers and workers are blind and so use pheromones to navigate. Two chemical compounds have already been identified as termite pheromones. It seems likely that the chemical formulation of certain inks contains compounds that mimic these naturally produced signals. How does social deprivation affect animals? The effect of a lack of parental care on the social development of young monkeys was studied by Harry Harlow. 1905-1981, and his colleagues beginning in the 1950s. In a now classic experiment, Harlow was able to show that the mother-infant bond was so important to young rhesus monkeys that the infants preferred a soft cuddly fake mother to a fake mother built from wire even if it had a nursing bottle attached. Depending on the age of the monkey and the duration of the treatment. Total isolation isolation with fake mother, and so on. Monkeys in these studies later exhibited a range of behavioral deficits including rocking and swaying, poor maternal behavior, and a failure in understanding communication signals from other monkeys. How does social deprivation affect animals? The effect of a lack of parental care on the social development of young monkeys was studied by Harry Harlow. 1905-1981, and his colleagues beginning in the 1950s. In a now classic experiment, Harlow was able to show that the mother-infant bond was so important to young rhesus monkeys that the infants preferred a soft cuddly fake mother to a fake mother built from wire even if it had a nursing bottle attached. Depending on the age of the monkey and the duration of the treatment. Total isolation isolation with fake mother, and so on. Monkeys in these studies later exhibited a range of behavioral deficits including rocking and swaying, poor maternal behavior, and a failure in understanding communication signals from other monkeys. Do migrating animals actually have magnetic crystals in their brains? Scientists have long speculated that birds may have magnetic compasses that allow them to detect the Earth's magnetic field and thus determine directions. Experiments in which magnets were strapped to the heads of pigeons caused the birds to become disoriented. Although magnetic iron has been found in bacteria and a variety of animal tissues, none has been clearly linked with a magnetic sense. Do migrating animals actually have magnetic crystals in their brains?
Scientists have long speculated that birds may have magnetic compasses that allow them to detect the Earth's magnetic field and thus determine directions. Experiments in which magnets were strapped to the heads of pigeons caused the birds to become disoriented. Although magnetic iron has been found in bacteria and a variety of animal tissues, none has been clearly linked with a magnetic sense. Why do animals that are round tend to show only very simple behaviors? Examples of round animals include members of the phylum Nidaria, hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and phylum Echinodermata, starfishes, sea urchins, sand dollars. An animal with radial symmetry usually has a nerve net that only allows very simple types of behavior. Animals that are round are usually sessile, i.e., non moving. This is in contrast to animals that display bilateral symmetry, in which there is a distinct head slash tail and in which the animals can be divided into different planes. Bilaterally symmetrical animals usually move in a specific direction. Why do animals that are round tend to show only very simple behaviors? Examples of round animals include members of the phylum Nidaria, hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and phylum Echinodermata, starfishes, sea urchins, sand dollars. An animal with radial symmetry usually has a nerve net that only allows very simple types of behavior. Animals that are round are usually sessile, i.e., non moving. This is in contrast to animals that display bilateral symmetry, in which there is a distinct head slash tail and in which the animals can be divided into different planes. Bilaterally symmetrical animals usually move in a specific direction. What is a biological clock? A biological clock controls a biological rhythm. It involves an internal pacemaker with external, usually environmental, cues. An environmental signal that cues the clock for animals is called an Zeitgeber. A German term meaning time giver. Examples of Zeitgebers include light and dark cycles. High and low tides, temperature, and food availability. What is a biological clock? A biological clock controls a biological rhythm. It involves an internal pacemaker with external, usually environmental, cues. An environmental signal that cues the clock for animals is called an Zeitgeber. A German term meaning time giver. Examples of Zeitgebers include light and dark cycles. High and low tides, temperature, and food availability.
How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior? A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. Biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior? A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. Biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. How do animals recognize each other? We know that animals can use scent, color, and sound to recognize individuals. And they may also be able to recognize other attributes as well. A recent study on sheep intelligence indicates that easily. Herded animals may be smarter than originally thought. The sheep were shown pictures of other sheep and were subsequently rewarded if they moved toward a selected picture. The sheep learned which face produced a reward. Ultimately, it was shown that sheep were able to pick a selected picture 80% of the time and could remember up to 50 images for two years. How do animals recognize each other? We know that animals can use scent, color, and sound to recognize individuals. And they may also be able to recognize other attributes as well. A recent study on sheep intelligence indicates that easily. Herded animals may be smarter than originally thought. The sheep were shown pictures of other sheep and were subsequently rewarded if they moved toward a selected picture. The sheep learned which face produced a reward. Ultimately, it was shown that sheep were able to Pick a selected picture 80% of the time and could remember up to 50 images for two years. Can animals use tools? A tool can be defined as any object used by an animal to perform a specific task. Chimpanzees carefully select twigs that they then prepare as probes to fish out termites from mounds. Sea otters use rocks to crack open clam shells.
birds will drop clams onto rocks to crack their shells. Japanese macaques use the sea to wash sand off food items. Can animals use tools? A tool can be defined as any object used by an animal to perform a specific task. Chimpanzees carefully select twigs that they then prepare as probes to fish out termites from mounds. Sea otters use rocks to crack open clam shells. Birds will drop clams onto rocks to crack their shells. Japanese macaques use the sea to wash sand off food items. What different types of aggressive behavior do animals display? Animals can show aggression through sound, e. g. growls, barks, trumpeting, sight, e. g. changing coloration, inflating body structures, and even scent. They can change the way they move, where they perch, or how much tooth enamel they display. For example, yawning among male mandrills is often not an expression of boredom but rather an opportunity to display their well-honed canine teeth. What different types of aggressive behavior do animals display? Animals can show aggression through sound, e. g. growls, barks, trumpeting, sight, e. g. changing coloration, inflating body structures, and even scent. They can change the way they move, where they perch, or how much tooth enamel they display. For example, yawning among male mandrills is often not an expression of boredom but rather an opportunity to display their well-honed canine teeth. How can some animals communicate via electric fields? Sharks, skates, and rays, all cartilaginous fish, have specialized structures for sensing weak electric fields. These structures are used for finding prey and navigation, and are also thought to be useful in finding mates as well. How can some animals communicate via electric fields? Sharks, skates, and rays, all cartilaginous fish, have specialized structures for sensing weak electric fields. These structures are used for finding prey and navigation and are also thought to be useful in finding mates as well. How do animals communicate by scent?
a variety of animals use scent marking to identify their territory. Some use scent marking for possessions. In Asian muntjac deer, males have scent glands on their faces that they use to mark their mates. How do animals communicate by scent? A variety of animals use scent marking to identify their territory. Some use scent marking for possessions. In Asian muntjac deer, males have scent glands on their faces that they use to mark their mates. What is hibernation? Hibernation, from the Latin term hiberna, meaning winter, is a period of dormancy practiced by animals to overcome wintry environmental conditions. Hibernation involves a decrease in metabolic rate. The rate of burning calories, heart rate, respiration, and other functions, e. g. urine production, rate of digestion. These rates dive so low that the animal's body temperature approaches that of its surroundings. Small animals whose increased metabolic rate forces them to find an alternative to Starving during the winter months are more likely to hibernate than larger animals. Many rodents and bats hibernate, as do some Australian marsupials. Hummingbirds and some other species of birds hibernate as well. As for bears, while they are certainly less active during the winter, they do not truly hibernate. Instead, they take very long naps known as winter sleep. What is hibernation? Hibernation, from the Latin term hiberna, meaning winter is a period of dormancy practiced by animals to overcome wintry environmental conditions. Hibernation involves a decrease in metabolic rate. The rate of burning calories, heart rate, respiration, and other functions, e. g. urine production, rate of digestion. These rates dive so low that the animal's body temperature approaches that of its surroundings. Small animals whose increased metabolic rate forces them to find an alternative to Starving during the winter months are more likely to hibernate than larger animals. Many rodents and bats hibernate, as do some Australian marsupials. Hummingbirds and some other species of birds hibernate as well. As for bears, while they are certainly less active during the winter, they do not truly hibernate. Instead, they take very long naps known as winter sleep. How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior? A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. 
biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. What does chest beating in gorillas signify? Chest beating in gorillas is part of an aggressive behavior display. It is usually presented by a silverback, male, against unrelated silverbacks. A chest beating display, accompanied by hoots and barks, may also be used to impress females. Can animals learn from other animals? Yes, animals can learn from other animals. Researchers observing the behavior of Japanese macaques would leave pieces of potato on the beach of the island where the study occurred. Every day the macaques would spend their time carefully cleaning the sand off their treats. Then one day a young female carried her potato to the sea, where she rinsed it off. Soon her mother was following her example. And then other females as well until finally the entire troop had learned the behavior. How does an animal's expression reflect behavior? Although only primates have the facial musculature to be truly expressive, many species use their appearance to convey information. For example, pufferfishes expand their bodies to look more threatening as do dogs and cats when they raise their hackles and puff up their body fur. Cats, horses, and others also use their ears to relay information about their intentions. And certainly, many a pet owner has learned to read his dog's mood by the movement of the tail. Unlike female humans, most female mammals have an estrous cycle instead of a menstrual one. Around the time of ovulation, these females experience estrus, a period of sexual receptivity. Sexual readiness can be advertised in a variety of ways, including physical and behavioral changes. Among females in species with estrus, it is common to see a swelling of the external genitalia. Female chimpanzees and other primates demonstrate this phenomenon. Male mandrills exhibit sexual maturity and dominance by the vibrancy of the coloration on the facial ridges and posterior flesh. When male elephants reach sexual maturity, they experience must. A condition typified by leakage of fluid from the penis as well as oozing of tears from the face. Of course, members of both sexes are likely to also exhibit changes in behavior. Actively seeking out the opposite sex, for example. Cats and dogs in heat will go to extraordinary lengths to meet a potential mate. What emotions do animals have?
Many pet owners say that they know when their animal is happy or sad. And now there is evidence to show that animals do exhibit emotion. Researchers have found that emotions are accompanied by biochemical changes in the brain that can be measured. When scientists examine the physiological changes found in humans that correlate with certain emotional states, e. g. anger, fear, lust, they find that these changes can also be observed in certain animal species. A study of stress among African baboons showed that social behavior, personality, and rank within the troop can influence the levels of stress hormones. There is increasing evidence that birds, reptiles, and fishes also experience some form of emotions. Although the idea of animals feeling emotions raises skepticism, students of animal behavior agree that many creatures experience fear, which is largely instinctive and, in effect, is pre-wired into the brain. Field observations have recorded expressions that correlate with pleasure, play, grief, and depression. Jane Goodall, watching the reaction of a young chimp after the death of his mother, maintains that the animal died of grief. Even with this evidence, it is impossible to truly know how another organism feels. How do animals recognize each other? We know that animals can use scent, color, and sound to recognize individuals. And they may also be able to recognize other attributes as well. A recent study on sheep intelligence indicates that easily. Herded animals may be smarter than originally thought. The sheep were shown pictures of other sheep and were subsequently rewarded if they moved toward a selected picture. The sheep learned which face produced a reward. Ultimately, it was shown that sheep were able to pick a selected picture 80% of the time and could remember up to 50 images for two years. Do animals laugh? So far, no example of animal laughter comparable to that of humans has been documented. However, researchers have reported that under certain conditions some species emit special vocalizations that could be considered akin to laughter. In one specific case a researcher has been able to identify a huffing sound unique to dogs at play. Scientists studying the behavior of non-human primates and rats have reported similar observations. What is habituation? Habituation is the decreased response to a stimulus that is repeated without reinforcement. Habituation can be very important to an animal in its natural surroundings. As an example, young ducklings run for cover when a shadow, a possible predator, passes overhead. Gradually, however, the ducklings learn which types of shadows are dangerous and which are harmless.
What is the most famous and deadliest of the puffer fishes? Fugaru bribes, the Japanese puffer fish, is a specialty in sushi restaurants. However, only specially trained chefs can safely prepare the fish for consumption. By minimizing the presence of tetrodotoxin, 1000 times deadlier than cyanide. What is the relationship between blue jays, monarch butterflies, and milkweed? As part of their life cycle, female monarchs lay their eggs exclusively on milkweed plants. After a few days the eggs hatch and a yellow, black, and white striped caterpillar emerges from each egg. These caterpillars are totally dependent on milkweed plants. Although the plants contain toxic substances, cardinalides, that are poisonous to other animals, the toxin is harmless to the monarch. Blue jays, who spend much of their day searching for food, will often eat insects such as adult monarch butterflies to supplement their otherwise vegetarian diet. However, if the food tastes bad, the blue jays will vomit up the food and will then learn individually to avoid the food in the future. Thus, wild monarch butterflies with high levels of cardinalide Concentrations are less susceptible to natural predation by birds. This is an example of operant conditioning in the wild. Who extensively studied fly behavior? Vincent Dethier, 1914 to 1993, spent most of his life researching chemical responses in insects. He wrote numerous articles and books, both for the general public and specifically for children. To know a fly, perhaps his most famous book, is considered one of the classic books in entomology. The book details physiological research on flies, particularly with regard to chemoreception, with a touch of humor. Aside from his career as a distinguished research scientist, he was able to popularize what scientists do and what draws people to science. What are examples of courting behavior? Male stickleback fish swim in a stereotypical manner as they court potential mates. Male bowerbirds build elaborate towers of vegetation to entice females. Female moths release pheromones that attract males from up to a mile away. Male African elephants use low-frequency sounds to find females who are sexually receptive. And, of course, male birds and frogs use vocalizations to attract mates. Why do some animals hunt only at night? In the arms race between predator and prey. A change in the behavior of one species can drive adaptation in another, 
coevolution. Many rodent species, for example, are adapted to life at night. But their predators have gained adaptations to night work as well. Owls and foxes have special adaptations that allow them to hunt at night for nocturnally active rodents, example field mice, moles, voles. Who was the first primate taught to use sign language? Although it was long known that primates use a number of methods of communication in the wild. Early attempts, from 1900 to the 1930s, to teach primates simple words were failures. A 1925 scientific article suggested sign language as an alternative to verbal language in communicating with primates. In the 1960s researchers tried to teach chimps and gorillas a modified form of sign language. It began with Washo the chimpanzee, followed by the gorillas Michael, now dead, and Coco. Washo learned a little over 100 signs. But Coco has a working vocabulary of over 1,000 signs and understands about 2,000 words of spoken English. Can animals use tools? A tool can be defined as any object used by an animal to perform a specific task. Chimpanzees carefully select twigs that they then prepare as probes to fish out termites from mounds. Sea otters use rocks to crack open clam shells. Birds will drop clams onto rocks to crack their shells. Japanese macaques use the sea to wash sand off food items. Who first suggested that apes could use language? Samuel Pepys, 1633-1703, famous for his 17th century diary. Wrote about what he called a baboon and suggested that it might be taught to speak or make signs. What is a biological clock? A biological clock controls a biological rhythm. It involves an internal pacemaker with external, usually environmental, cues. An environmental signal that cues the clock for animals is called an Zeitgeber. A German term meaning time giver. Examples of Zeitgebers include light and dark cycles. High and low tides, temperature, and food availability. What is the significance of bee dancing? How is it that within a short time of a bee finding a food source, a great number of fellow bees will converge to gather pollen and nectar? Communication about the food location occurs through the bee dance. This symbolic language of bees, 
also known as the waggle dance, is the most complex of all non-human communication systems. By placing sources of food at varying distances and angles from the hives, Carl von Frisch found that forager bees perform either a round dance for food at short distances. 66 to 656 feet or 20 to 200 m, or a waggle dance for food at longer distances. While dancing, the forager also emits sound bursts. The specifics of the dance. Example area the dance occupies on the comb, duration of each cycle. And length of sound bursts indicate the distance and direction to the food source. What are the most primitive animals that have been studied for their behavior? Sponges are the most primitive animals studied for their behavior. Investigations have shown that sponges in their natural environment may move away from physical contact with competitors, areas with limited food, or sites that have excessive exposure to silt abrasion by water flows. Do animal societies have a culture? Culture can be defined as the set of societal rules that are passed from one generation to the next. Parents or caregivers teach juveniles what they need to know in order to participate in their society. This phenomenon has been noted among non-human primates and elephants as well as other species. Elephant families rely on memory and the knowledge of the matriarch. Oldest female, to respond to social cues. The matriarch controls the direction in which the herd moves, and where and for how long feeding occurs. When there is danger, the other herd members cluster around the matriarch. Perhaps most striking is the tender loving care lavished on young elephants. The bond between mother and daughter elephants lasts up to 50 years. What does genetics have to do with behavior? Some ethologists feel that all behavior is genetically programmed. If a behavior is under genetic control, then it is a sequence of events. Sign stimulus, releasing mechanism, and fixed action pattern. However, the mainstream view is that most or all behavior is a result of a combination of genetic programming and environmental learning. How does social deprivation affect animals? The effect of a lack of parental care on the social development of young monkeys was studied by Harry Harlow. 1905-1981, and his colleagues beginning in the 1950s. In a now classic experiment, Harlow was able to show that the mother-infant bond was so important to young rhesus monkeys that the infants preferred a soft cuddly fake. 
mother to a fake mother built from wire even if it had a nursing bottle attached. Depending on the age of the monkey and the duration of the treatment. Total isolation, isolation with fake mother, and so on. Monkeys in these studies later exhibited a range of behavioral deficits including rocking and swaying, poor maternal behavior, and a failure in understanding communication signals from other monkeys. Why do termites march around a ring made of ink? Termite soldiers and workers are blind and so use pheromones to navigate. Two chemical compounds have already been identified as termite pheromones. It seems likely that the chemical formulation of certain inks contains compounds that mimic these naturally produced signals. Who discovered bee dancing? Bee dancing was studied by Carl von Frisch, 1886-1982, and colleagues in the 1940s. Details and interpretation of the dance language were published. In the 1967 book The Dance Language and Orientation of Bees. Von Frisch was able to study a group of bees by replacing one of the walls of a hive with glass. Do animals cry? Crying in response to emotional distress has been documented only in humans. However, many animals, particularly the young, demonstrate their response to distress by changes in vocalizations and movement. While tear production, the lacrimal response, is found in a number of animals, but not crocodiles. The tears are used to maintain the cleanliness and moisture of the eyes and not to display emotion. Why do animals that are round tend to show only very simple behaviors? Examples of round animals include members of the phylum Nidaria, hydras, jellyfishes, corals, and phylum Echinodermata, starfishes, sea urchins, sand dollars. An animal with radial symmetry usually has a nerve net that only allows very simple types of behavior. Animals that are round are usually sessile, i.e., non moving. This is in contrast to animals that display bilateral symmetry, in which there is a distinct head slash tail and in which the animals can be divided into different planes. Bilaterally symmetrical animals usually move in a specific direction. If primates are so close to humans, both genetically and evolutionarily, then why can't they speak? Scientists used to think that apes were not intelligent enough to speak. However, it is now thought that an ape's vocal cords are not built for speech. 
After many years of observations, it is well known that apes do use vocal communication. But it is usually in the form of hoots and grunts, with accompanying gestures. How can some animals communicate via electric fields? Sharks, skates, and rays, all cartilaginous fish, have specialized structures for sensing weak electric fields. These structures are used for finding prey and navigation and are also thought to be useful in finding mates as well. Why are some animals so brightly colored while others are so dull? There are two general functions of bright coloration. The individual with such coloration is trying to advertise either to members of its own species, its conspecifics, or to those of other species. Within species, communication revolves around reproductive behavior. Male red-winged blackbirds, for example, use their brightly colored shoulder patches to advertise their territory ownership to potential mates and rivals. An experiment with zebra finches found that females were more likely to choose males as mates if the identification bands on their legs were red rather than some other color. Between species, communication is usually threatening. Warning or aposematic, coloration is a method used by animals with stings or poison to circumvent attacks. For example, stinging insects like wasps and bees use similar color patterns of yellow and black to advertise their arsenal. Poison dart frogs, family Dendrobatidae, also use bright coloration in this way. Dull or camouflage coloration, as in a flounder, is an alternative strategy. By hiding, these species hope to avoid predation. Can cobras really hypnotize their prey? While hypnotism would be a fortunate side effect, it is thought that the semi-erect posture and swaying motion are probably used by the cobra to estimate the distance to its prey. African cobras don't strike at their target, rather, they spit venom at threats up to 6 feet 1.9 meters away. To do this, they need to take visual aim. How do songbirds learn to sing? Through analysis of many bird species, ethologists have found two major types of song development. One, imitating the songs of others, particularly adults of the same species. And two, invention or improvisation of unique songs. Observations of male song sparrows, particularly during their first month of life, show that when the birds arrive at a new habitat, they memorize the songs of the males in that neighborhood.
Do migrating animals actually have magnetic crystals in their brains? Scientists have long speculated that birds may have magnetic compasses that allow them to detect the Earth's magnetic field and thus determine directions. Experiments in which magnets were strapped to the heads of pigeons caused the birds to become disoriented. Although magnetic iron has been found in bacteria and a variety of animal tissues, none has been clearly linked with a magnetic sense. How do animals communicate by scent? A variety of animals use scent marking to identify their territory. Some use scent marking for possessions. In Asian muntjac deer, males have scent glands on their faces that they use to mark their mates. When do birds learn to sing? Male song sparrows generally learn to sing during a critical period between 10 and 50 days after hatching. In some birds such as the mouse wren, the learning period for song development is influenced by photo period. Amount of daylight, and social interactions with other adult birds. What different types of aggressive behavior do animals display? Animals can show aggression through sound. G, growls, barks, trumpeting, sight, E. G, changing coloration, inflating body structures, and even scent. They can change the way they move, where they perch, or how much tooth enamel they display. For example, yawning among male mandrills is often not an expression of boredom but rather an opportunity to display their well-honed canine teeth. What is hibernation? Hibernation, from the Latin term hiberna, meaning winter is a period of dormancy practiced by animals to overcome wintry environmental conditions. Hibernation involves a decrease in metabolic rate. The rate of burning calories, heart rate, respiration, and other functions, e. g. urine production, rate of digestion. These rates dive so low that the animal's body temperature approaches that of its surroundings. Small animals whose increased metabolic rate forces them to find an alternative to starving during the winter months are more likely to hibernate than larger animals. Many rodents and bats hibernate, as do some Australian marsupials. Hummingbirds and some other species of birds hibernate as well. As for bears, while they are certainly less active during the winter, they do not truly hibernate. Instead, they take very long naps known as winter sleep.
Do bears in a zoo hibernate? Bears do not technically hibernate. In winter conditions they find protected areas like a cave or hollow. Log and conserve energy by taking extended naps, winter sleep. This is why it is always dangerous to disturb a wintering bear. Because it is merely napping, not hibernating. In zoos, because temperatures in cages and enclosures remain warm throughout the year. And the bears have access to a food supply continually replenished by keepers, they remain active year-round. Do bears in a zoo hibernate? Bears do not technically hibernate. In winter conditions they find protected areas like a cave or hollow. Log and conserve energy by taking extended naps, winter sleep. This is why it is always dangerous to disturb a wintering bear. Because it is merely napping, not hibernating. In zoos, because temperatures in cages and enclosures remain warm throughout the year. And the bears have access to a food supply continually replenished by keepers, they remain active year-round. What is torpor? Torpor is a short-term decrease in body temperature and metabolic rate. Animals such as hummingbirds and bats go through daily periods of torpor that allow them to reduce their energy requirements at night or when hunting is poor. Torpor can be considered as a type of brief sleep, but it is distinct from a state from hibernation. What is torpor? Torpor is a short-term decrease in body temperature and metabolic rate. Animals such as hummingbirds and bats go through daily periods of torpor that allow them to reduce their energy requirements at night or when hunting is poor. Torpor can be considered as a type of brief sleep, but it is distinct from a state from hibernation. What is estivation? Estivation, from the Latin term estes, meaning summer, is a process by which animals become dormant during the summer rather than the winter. Estivation may be used as a survival strategy against intense heat. Ground squirrels, drought, snails, or both. The Colombian ground squirrel both hibernates and estivates. Beginning its dormant period in the late summer and continuing it until the next May. What is estivation? Estivation, from the Latin term estes, meaning summer, 
is a process by which animals become dormant during the summer rather than the winter. Estivation may be used as a survival strategy against intense heat. Ground squirrels, drought, snails, or both. The Colombian ground squirrel both hibernates and estivates. Beginning its dormant period in the late summer and continuing it until the next May. What is unique about the marine iguanas of the Galapagos? The marine iguanas of the Galapagos show evidence of unique behavioral adaptations to their environment. They are strictly vegetarian and are able to swim. In effect, they are the cows of the Galapagos, taking on the role of primary consumers. What is unique about the marine iguanas of the Galapagos? The marine iguanas of the Galapagos show evidence of unique behavioral adaptations to their environment. They are strictly vegetarian and are able to swim. In effect, they are the cows of the Galapagos, taking on the role of primary consumers. Why do animals in a zoo pace? Pacing is an indication of lack of stimulation. A recent doctoral study found that larger animals, which have a larger home range in the wild, are particularly prone to pacing in captivity, a behavior known as cage stereotyping. Most reputable zoos attempt to assuage pacing by providing what is known as animal enrichment. Enrichment may include constantly changing objects, odors, and sounds to mimic the types of stimulations that would be found in the animal's natural habitat. As an example, in order to keep life interesting for poison dart frogs from South America, keepers will hide their crickets inside a coconut with holes drilled in it. The frogs then have to seek out the food inside the chirping coconut. Why do animals in a zoo pace? Pacing is an indication of lack of stimulation. A recent doctoral study found that larger animals, which have a larger home range in the wild, are particularly prone to pacing in captivity, a behavior known as cage stereotyping. Most reputable zoos attempt to assuage pacing by providing what is known as animal enrichment. Enrichment may include constantly changing objects, odors, and sounds to mimic the types of stimulations that would be found in the animal's natural habitat. As an example, in order to keep life interesting for poison dart frogs from South America, keepers will hide their crickets inside a coconut with holes drilled in it. The frogs then have to seek out the food inside the chirping coconut. Do humans show grooming behavior similar to that of other primates?
Grooming is an important tool in cementing social relationships among primates. In studies of non-human primates, grooming, which is used ostensibly to remove external or ectoparasites, most often occurs between close relatives. In humans, grooming is also used as a relationship builder. Although humans will groom non-relatives as well. Do humans show grooming behavior similar to that of other primates? Grooming is an important tool in cementing social relationships among primates. In studies of non-human primates, grooming, which is used ostensibly to remove external or ectoparasites, most often occurs between close relatives. In humans, grooming is also used as a relationship builder. Although humans will groom non-relatives as well. 